When you cook as much as I do for as long as I have, you start to develop like a laundry list of problems you encounter in the kitchen. Now, I wanted to take my top three kitchen problems and solve those problems. Hint, it involves pizza, steaming, and wings. Ta-da! So good. Hey friends, welcome to another episode of Marion's Test Kitchen. So this is a series where I test out the cool techniques, the gadgets, the methods, so you don't have to. All right, number one, how do you make like that epic crust pizza, you know, the nice puff and the charry top? Number two, I actually have cracked the perfect air fryer style wings. There are so many recipes out there, but this is the one that actually works and it's the simplest. Number three, how do you achieve pro level, like Chinese restaurant level, steamed fish and Chinese broccoli in one tray? Now I've partnered with Panasonic for this episode and I'm gonna be using their really cool combination steam microwave. I have been loving this thing since I've been testing it out. It steams, grills, oven bakes, and of course, does some microwaving, which actually we're gonna use in a very unconventional way in this video. The problem I think with making pizza at home is that you don't often get that like really amazing like puffy crust with the charred top, you know, that comes straight out of a wood-fired oven at the restaurant. I have actually figured out this really cool hack. I'm gonna use both microwave and steaming techniques to make the most amazing pizza. But first of all, let's do the dough because I have like a really great recipe for dough that I've been testing out for years. Here we go. Double zero flour, that's your pizza flour. Half pizza flour, half plain flour. That's gonna give you the perfect texture. Add in your yeast and some salt and water. Now, unlike a lot of pizza dough recipes, this one starts out really wet. Don't worry, we're gonna add in a little bit more flour later on and do some shaping a bit later. Now the dough needs time to rest, so just pop a tea towel over it and about an hour to 90 minutes or until it's doubled in size. In the meantime, you can make your pizza sauce. Start off with some canned tomatoes, add in a crushed garlic clove, and I like things spicy, so I'm gonna do a chili here, add in a basil stem, yes, the whole stem, because it kind of infuses the sauce. Add some salt, and then just heat that up. I only want it simmering for maybe like a couple of minutes just to let those ingredients make friends in there, and then turn it off, because then you get a nice, fresh tomato flavor. Back to the pizza dough. Let's have a look here. Whew, it's alive. So what I need to do is grab a whole bunch of flour and tip the dough out onto the flour, more flour on top of the dough, and then kind of give that a bit of a knead. Look how nice that dough is. Appreciation moment, please. Look at it go, you it's beautiful. Oh <laughs> I don't know, I was just expecting some applause or something. I need a hype man. I need the validation. <laughs> Divide your dough up into four pieces and then you want to form a really nice tight ball here. So use your fingers to kind of wrap that dough around, tuck it under and just kind of like shimmy it around. You've got a nice smooth ball. Place the dough onto a floured surface and do that with the remainder of your dough. Cover with a damp tea towel and let the dough rise for about half an hour. Pizza cooking 101. You want your oven to be hot. In this case, I'm gonna be using my microwave as the oven because it has an oven function. Two, you want the tray or whatever you're cooking your pizza on to be hot. That's gonna help you get that crispy base and cook the base through. And three, you want direct overhead heat to really get that puff and that char on the top of the pizza. So let's preheat everything. And in here, I have my tray, which is also gonna be preheating. And then by the time all of this is hot enough, we're gonna be ready to roll out these pizzas, get them in the oven and get them cooking, which I'm excited about because I'm hungry. All right, let's come back and have a look at our dough. Ta-da! Look at those guys, they're all like puffy and you've got some of those little bubbles happening. That's gonna give us a really nice crust. To shape the pizza base, you just want to stretch it out. Stretch it rather than rolling it, kind of toss it around. Can you do the whole... <laughs> uh, that's not working either, is it? Pop your pizza onto some baking paper. Time for the toppings. Spread out your tomato sauce, drizzle with a little bit of olive oil, and now the cheeses. Some pecorino, some comte, which is a really awesome gruyere cheese, spicy pepperoni, and some buffalo mozzarella. All right, let's cook pizza. Combination setting, 
And then here's the thing about this machine, it has like this steam shot function and for one minute it's gonna like jam some steam in there, it's gonna make the bread like puff up and let the crust get all amazing. Come have a look Dad, get in here and have a look. See, see how it's like puffing up in there? I can't see anything. You <laughs> <laughs> You're missing the steam, Dad! <laughs> get the steam! <laughs> Someone get the other side of this, please. We're really getting the steam. Pizza hide and seek. Where did Dax go? There he is. Stop playing with the kids. <laughs> so the cool thing that's happening right now is that the crust has had the benefit of the steam. So it's like puffed up. And now we have the grill giving us that like intense heat from the top to give us all that like chariness. And the microwave is heating things through the center. So it's like all working together to make the perfect pizza. Oh, it's bubbling. But we can't see that because Dax can't see it in his camera. All right, I'm gonna get in here and have a look because it smells really good. I mean, come on, look at that. Came out of a microwave, it's amazing. But not only that, like that was literally like 10 minutes in there, that's 10 minutes. All right, final little bits and pieces. I'm just gonna do a little bit of fresh mozzarella on top, some chili and some basil. Such a work of art, I'm so excited. Okay, let's get in here and slice this guy. Look at this, look at this piece. It's like the perfect piece, oh my goodness. And this is the real test, like right in here, like where you see that kind of puffiness and that chariness, but you've got that like light, crispy thing going on. Oh, I'm gonna eat this right now. You can't even stop me. So good. Can you believe the steam, the grill, and the microwave together making this magic? Yum. Problem number two that I have in the kitchen is what is the best air fryer style wing recipe? Because there are so many out there, but what is the one that actually works? So I have my favorite one that I'm gonna show you and it happens to be one of the simplest. For the marinade, use a mortar and pestle to grind Szechuan peppercorns, black pepper and salt until like a fine powder then pour all of that over your chicken wings and then crumble over a chicken stock cube. This is my little secret here, kind of makes things like chicken salty. Hot tip, pop your wings onto a tray with some paper down. We wanna let these guys rest in the fridge overnight and they're going to dry out, which is gonna make the skin all crispy. You'll see. <laughs> no, I did make some yesterday, so. <laughs> Here they are. I'm gonna pop these onto my microwave tray. A little spray with some oil here, just a little. And then here we go, this is really fun because my little friend here loves air fryer style wings so much that it has its own setting. 13 chicken wings, it even says chicken wing. 19 minutes exactly is what my little friend is telling me here. I'm gonna turn the wings over halfway. In the meantime, you can make your spicy Asian hot sauce. You need some gochujang, some barbecue sauce. You could use smoky or sweet barbecue, up to you, and a little bit of sweet chili sauce. Mix all of that together and wait for those wings to get ready. Mm, that's good. Ooh, they're looking pretty good, that's halfway. Turn these over and back in. Cue cooking. So things are starting to smell very, very nice. Let's have a look. Ooh, ah, oh, yes. I mean, come on, look at that. Literally just a work of art. Look at that skin. It is like so crispy. Ah, oh, I'll get a knife. You need to hear, you need to hear this. That's the sound. I'm gonna to toss these guys in my sticky spicy sauce because that's the kind of girl I am. Put them out onto a platter and you have yourself some amazing sticky wings right there. So legit, these look so good. I am gonna get straight in here. Yes. The chicken's really juicy too. The healthy grill hasn't dried them out or anything. We just have a really like crispy, sticky exterior. So good. Mm. Problem number three, I love steamed fish and steamed broccoli, but the problem is that I never have a steamer big enough at home. Now, you typically can only fit like one or two pieces of fish in there. You can't do like a whole tray thing. So I'm gonna give that a go. I've got some lime, some ginger as well, and the fish. 
full four pieces. A little drizzle with some sesame oil. Pop this into my little friend here and steam. In the meantime, let's make sauce and garnishes. First of all, the sauce for the salmon. You just need some soy sauce and some lime juice. Your Asian greens just need some oyster sauce, soy sauce, sesame oil and sugar. And for your garnishes that make things a little bit fancy, you want some ginger, some sliced chilli and some spring onion. Now at the halfway mark or around about, you want to put your green vegetables in to steam as well. I'm using Chinese broccoli, but you could use broccolini, choy sam, pak choy, endless opportunities. Now sprinkle over some sliced garlic and pop all of that back into the microwave to steam. Let's have a look at our fish. Ah, oh, look at that. It's so nice. I can feel it. it's really nice and juicy. I'm going to put my greens out. Look at that. All right, so my soy and lime. And add your garnishes. And now for the greens. And there we go. Steaming on a whole nother level, as in really good, but also larger and all at once. <laughs> It's like unparalleled, like the steaming process, so much juicier. I mean, I do love a pan fried salmon too, but this steamed salmon was so good. And the sauce, ah, it was really good. I've been actually been very impressed with my test kitchening today. Technology is a wondrous thing.